Hello. In this short video I will be covering the VXLAN control plane. By default VXLAN does not provide any control plane functionality. This means that all control plane functionality is not performed by the VTABs, but only by the devices that are connected to the VTABs. In other words, a VXLAN tunnel is just a tunnel. It tunnels all the traffic. So for MAC address learning by default, if a source host needs to find a destination host, the source VTAP forwards the broadcast to all the destination VTAPs. Now it would be great if the local VTAP knows about the location of a destination MAC address and can forward the data directly to the right destination instead of flooding each unknown destination MAC address. This can be achieved by introducing a control plane. The control plane ensures that the VTAPs exchange the local MAC address information. In other words, each VTAP knows about its local MAC addresses and by using a control plane protocol, this information can be exchanged with the other VTAPs. This means that if a local host wants to communicate with a destination host, the local VTAP will know its destination VTAP and will forward the data directly to the relevant destination VTAP. There are many different ways of exchanging this information. One option is to use the underlay multicast functionality. The challenge with this is that the network will require multicast functionality, either IGMP or in case of a layer 3 spine leaf architecture, a multicast routing protocol like PIM. A better way is to use a routing protocol to encapsulate the information for exchange. The HPE switches and routers that support VXLAN can use the IS-IS protocol to achieve this. Configuration of MAC address learning based on IS-IS is very simple. We can use the demonstration videos for configuring VXLAN on the ABC networking channel. You can click on either links in the screen to watch these videos. Configuring the ISIS control plane for VXLAN consists of a couple of steps. First, we have to reserve a VXLAN VNI that allows you to exchange the MAC address information across that VNI. The second step is to enable the VXLAN ISIS process and activate the MAC address synchronization. And that's it. Let's check whether the ISIS peers have been established by issuing the display VXLAN ISIS peer command. At this moment, there are no hosts attached to the VTAPs. This means that there should not be any MAC addresses learned by the ISIS process. So let's check that. Now let's fire up some Ubuntu hosts. Let's issue some pings and check whether the MAC addresses have been learned.
as you can see the VTAPs are learning the MAC addresses through the ISIS protocol and as a final check let's run a trace and see what ISIS information is exchanged so the systems are exchanging hello packets and also LSPs and in these LSPs the MAC address information is exchanged you can see here in this packet that the uh, VXLAN that this is a VXLAN packet with the VXLAN network identifier 11111 which is the reserved uh, VNI for the ISIS process and then below here you can uh, in the in the ISIS packet in the payload uh, you'll see the sequence number so that's where the MAC addresses are exchanged and this concludes the video for demonstrating VXLAN control planes. Thanks for watching.